Good afternoon, Washington football fans. Well, we got some really good news. It's possible that we're going to have Logan Thomas back for Monday Night Football. <laughs> yes. Having Logan Thomas back is huge for us. We have been very thin there at the, uh, at the tight end position. But the good thing with that, though, is that we have been able to take a little bit longer look at our draftees, you know, so guys like John Bates. It's been great to see what John Bates can do. He's, I think John Bates has really performed pretty well, you know, considering the fact that, well, you know, it seemed like he kind of started off. You didn't really, just didn't really know what you had with uh, John Bates, but he's basically caught everything that's been thrown at him. So, um, you know, I thought he's played real well. Now, he's a playmaker like Logan Thomas? Absolutely not. Right now, I kind of compare John Bates to somebody like Donnie Warren back in the day. Uh, you know, Donnie Warren's going to go out and catch a ball for you every now and then, but he's, he's going to be more of the bruiser, blocker, opening up run lanes and stuff like that for the running backs. So, Logan Thomas is more of the playmaker. He's more of the Clint Didier you know, the Chris Cooley, uh, better than Chris Cooley, in my opinion. And I, I loved Chris Cooley. So it is great to see Logan Thomas back. Um, I think Ricky Seals Jones did a tremendous job for us in the absence of uh, Logan Thomas. I hate it that, you know, Ricky Seals Jones is injured and he's probably going to be out for the rest of the season. I don't know. But um, to have Logan Thomas back for us is good. The other bit of good news for the Washington football fans, Curtis Samuel, he is back at practice. He is off the IR. He's been practicing pretty well from what I've heard from Twitter. Logan, uh, so having Logan Thomas and Curtis Samuel back, this is huge for us. You know, to me, that means we could possibly be making a run because here's the thing with Curtis Samuel, you know, he's kind of the gadget guy, um, really can open up the playbook for you. Of course, we, we know what Logan Thomas can do for you. Um, it's, just, it's just really going to make play calling that much easier, I think, hopefully, for Scott Turner. But having those two guys back is huge, you know, Taylor Heineke is going to need all the weapons at his disposal if we're going to make a run for this toward the end of the season. So having a healthy wide receiving court, that is huge. You know, Diami Brown, he came back, you know, this past week. Of course, he didn't really catch any passes, but you know, he's out there and, and pass blocking and, and running routes and stuff like that. So, you know, we're getting our guys healthy. Now, our offensive line isn't exactly the most healthy at this point. <clears throat> of course, you know, Sam Cosme, he has had some injuries all season long. He just came back, got injured again in the game this past week. So there's question marks. You know, is Sam Cosme going to be able to play on Monday night? He didn't practice today. So, um, you know, that's a concern for us. We really do need Sam Cosme there. Um, you know, we, we lost, uh, you know, Chase Rullier for the rest of the season and we're going through centers like crazy, you know, Tyler Larson also, you know, who has been in there for, uh, the injured, uh, Chase, uh, Rullier got injured as well. And so <clears throat> he did not practice. So we don't know what's going to happen with the offensive line. You know, my hope is, is that these guys can come in and that, you know, they're going to be able to, to at least gut it out. But at the same time, you need healthy guys up there at front. So, you know, it's the, it continues to be the next man up mentality for this team, which, frankly, is fine because they're proving it. You know, usually when you start losing guys on the offensive line, bad things are going to happen to your offense. And didn't really... Well, it just didn't work out that way for the Washington football team this past week. They were still able to move the ball. They were able to move the ball on the ground, which is real huge for us. 
And of course, that's going to be you know another question talked about the running game is, you know, can Antonio Gibson can he keep the ball safe? Can he can he ha- you know display some ball security because when that guy doesn't fumble, he is easily one of the best running backs in the league, in my opinion. And I mean, the guy is just I mean he. That second half, he ran just angry, probably angry at himself, but you know he proved why that we drafted him, right? J.D. McKissick, though, he's no slouch either. So you got the offensive line who can, you know, they're injured, they're shuffled around, but they can still open up running lanes for these running backs, and they're taking advantage of it, and they just need just a slight, just a slight little, you know, hole in there that they can go through and then suddenly they're ripping off, you know, 20 some yards rushing. Uh, This is only going to help Taylor Heineke and that passing game even more. So you get guys like Logan Thomas back who, you know, Taylor Heineke can utilize in, you know, play action uh, passes. Um, You know, of course, Terry McLaurin, I mean, you know, you can utilize him with anything you, you want. I mean, that dude's going to catch everything, right? Uh, so uh, this is a very exciting thing for the Washington football team to get Logan Thomas back. I think he's going to be a sure thing. Now, Curtis Samuel, there's, you know, there's some slight glimmer of hope. Let's not say that he's going to be back completely, but I I believe there's going to be a, a pretty – good chance that we are going to be able to work Curtis Samuel back into the lineup. But at least one thing we can say, uh, DeAndre uh, DeAndre Carter, I, I always want to say DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, you know, DeAndre Carter, though, I mean, he has really just, he's played so exceptionally well. I mean, you know, he's played well for us in special teams, but he has really stepped it up as a wide receiver. And he has, you know, been involved in a lot of those, you know, offensive plays that packages that really we were going to have Curtis Samuel running. So, you know, he has played well. So I, I do want to have Curtis Samuel back, but I still want to be able to have someone like DeAndre Carter in there as well because, you know, just feel like both of those guys in there, maybe you can run Curtis Samuel as a decoy here and there just to kind of see how he's running, um, you know, making sure that he looks healthy out there before you really start feeding him the ball. But, you know, we're definitely going to need all of those guys healthy going down the stretch because if the Washington football team wants to make a run for it, they got to have their guys healthy. they got to start making that run now. You know, they're they're four and six. They've won two games in a row. They got two games coming up, which, in my opinion, they can easily, well, I won't say easily, but they should be able to win these two games. You know, they're actually favored for probably the first time in a while. They are favored in the Seattle game. So they can beat the Seahawks. They can beat Las Vegas. Then suddenly we're staring at the, the Dallas Cowboys, the Giants, who seem to be imploding themselves, and, of course, Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, Philadelphia is getting hot, folks, so they're, you know, they are not a slouch team. So it's going to be some battles. It's going to be some battles, but, you know, this team has been battle-tested. And so because this team has been so battle-tested with injuries and just everything going around them, they're ready. And you get Logan Thomas and Curtis Samuel back, they're doubly ready. So, that being said, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. How excited are you to have Logan Thomas and Curtis Samuel back? This is huge, folks. It's huge for us. If you're enjoying this channel, please consider you know, subscribing to the channel. I try to put videos out as much as possible. That said, you guys have a great day.